Hey, so I just wanted to hop on really quick. Um, I'm about to eat some lunch. Um, it's been a long day, but um, I realized I was changing my shirt um, out of my scrub top, and this is a t-shirt I had in my van, so here I am. And so I was like, I think there's a lot of people who actually probably don't know about the Gullah Church Nurses Association. So I gave a talk today at um, the Medical University of South Carolina College of Nursing and almost, I, I think nobody. So this was attended by 221 people and nobody knew who the Gullah Church nurses are. And so I thought it was interesting that I have on one of the shirts uh, from the Gullah Church Nurses Association. I don't know if y'all can even see. I have on scrub bottoms and Crocs. Um, yeah, so Gullah Church Nurses Association has been around for 30 years. This is their 30th anniversary. And I'm celebrating actually with them. And um, one of the, the second president, and so she's been helping out with the organization for decades now. It'll be her 90th birthday in September and we're hosting it. I'm, I'm actually the host. And so I'll be emceeing the event at the Penn Center. And she's also one of the last living um, descendants of um, the Penn Center or the Penn School that it was at that time. And so I just wanted to hop on live and I'll probably post this on my timeline as well because more people need to look up and know what the Gullah Church Nurses Association is, the work they did. Um, they began in South Carolina in the 80s because of the HIV AIDS epidemic and they were seeing and treating a lot of black patients that nobody else wanted to touch but that they knew from the community being Gullah Geechee people we know each other a lot and so this was out in Bluffton and so what they ended up doing was providing care um, throughout uh, I think Allendale, Bamberg, uh, Buford, Jasper and in Charleston and so I just wanted to shout out the Gullah Church Nurses Association today um, uh, Miss Betty Gassens I call her Mama Betty um, she's also first lady of a church and so they do faith in a lot of the things that they do. They've done um, oral care and like dental care and giving out those types of products at St. Helena Elementary School. They've done CPR training classes, diabetes education workshops. So they didn't just stop at H the HIV AIDS epidemic. So even now during the COVID-19, the ongoing pandemic that we've been having, they've actually, what they did was they won a grant and they used those grant funds to um, provide uh, hand sanitizer stations, um, temperature checks, and masks to churches throughout Beaufort, Jasper, and Charleston area. And so just wanted to shout out the Gullah Church Nurses Association today because um, a lot of people don't know who they are. Um, and so go look them up. Shout out to Mama Betty and uh, Miss Gardenia. Oh my gosh, y'all, I get to sit at these ladies, our elders, I get to sit at their feet and just glean from them and their wisdom and Oh my gosh, all their stories. I love them so much and they've like taken me on. Um, so when they asked me to host uh, Gardenia's 90th birthday, it's, I was like, absolutely, absolutely. And so the beautiful thing too is you can now stay at the Penn Center. And so we'll probably, me and my family will probably just stay at the Penn Center that weekend. So it's gonna just be a beautiful time um, being home on the Sea Islands on St. Helena with family. And so shout out to the Gullah Church Nurses Association. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in.